This is the Newmar story, a legacy of innovation. It's a story rich in history, milestones, and uncompromising dedication that's still being written today. At Newmar, we firmly believe that our success, both now and always, is rooted in our beginnings as a company. Our story begins in 1968, and even if you don't count Newmar's founding, it was an eventful time. Richard M. Nixon was President of the United States. NASA was preparing to send the first astronauts to walk on the moon. A music festival in a little-known town in upstate New York named Woodstock was being planned. And self-propelled campers called motorhomes were only starting to become popular with travel-loving families. It was in this same year that two visionaries, Marvin Newcomer and Marvin Miller, left their comfort zones at another RV manufacturer to start a new company with the belief that they could build a better RV. Newmar. The fledgling company began production inside an old building that had once been a fire station located at a rural intersection known as Five Points outside Napanee, Indiana, where Newmar resides today. Right from the start, Newcomer and Marvin Miller put their knowledge, experience, and dreams together with hard work to create Newmar's primary product during its formative years, the Country Air Travel Trailer. Soon after, in the early 1970s, Newmar would introduce a new variation on the Country Air, the Country Air Fifth Wheel, a new design that would begin to define Newmar as an industry pioneer in RV innovation and make Newmar one of the largest fifth wheel RV manufacturers in North America. It was also during the 1970s that Newmar introduced its first Class C mini motorhomes, marking the beginning of Newmar's motorized RV development. These units, built on van chassis platforms, were robust and capable and allowed the company to explore the potential of self-propelled RVs. During the 1980s, Newmar would experience some significant change. In 1984, Newmar was purchased by Malin Miller. His ownership and guidance of Newmar has continued to the present day. Under Malin's direction, the mid-1980s would herald a new era in Newmar's product development. In 1986, the American Star and Country Star lines made their debut. Less than two years after their introduction, these two lines became Newmar's most successful products since the introduction of the Country Air. As the 1990s approached, the RV industry was maturing, and so were its customers. They were demanding larger and more sophisticated coaches. This would lead Newmar to take a ground-up approach to full-size motorhome design. It was time to create a motorhome that would combine all the conveniences of home with uncompromising Newmar value and quality. So, in 1990, Newmar introduced just such a product whose name still today is synonymous with Newmar excellence, the Dutch Star. In 1992, Newmar offered its first Class A diesel pusher models in the Country Star and London Air lines, and in the years following, the company would blossom into a significant force in the motor home market. At the turn of the 21st century, Newmar saw the need to push the envelope of innovation even farther in a design study that would combine influences from the automotive, nautical, and even aviation industries, the new air. The new air, with its low-profile, seamless exterior and asymmetrical windows, served as a test bed for sidewall innovation, paint technology, and interior materials design that would live on in future products and set the stage for the next decade of development. In 2002, Newmar forged ahead into new territory with the Essex, a product of true Newmar heritage and unprecedented opulence. In many ways, Essex has since redefined the high-end luxury RV market. Over the years, Newmar's continued desire to build a better RV has led to many significant and revolutionary innovations. One of Newmar's first major innovations was increasing the roof height at the front of fifth wheels to create more headroom and much greater livable space. It was also Newmar's innovative thinking that created the tandem axle for fifth wheels, providing better braking and handling while greatly reducing tire scrubbing inherent to the traditional tri-axle design. 
During the 1980s, as RVs became larger and more sophisticated in many ways, air conditioning posed significant challenges. Nearly all RVs were plagued with hot spots, areas of the coach where air would not circulate. In response to this challenge, Newmar engineers went to work on devising a system so advanced yet simple that it is still in use today, Total Comfort Air Conditioning. Unlike traditional RV air conditioning with just one or two warm air returns, the Total Comfort design provides ducting which runs the entire interior length of the coach and provides an equal number of warm air return ducts for every cool air inlet. With this design, Newmar engineers were able to maintain consistent interior temperatures throughout the coach to within 3 degrees Fahrenheit in testing trials. One of the most significant contributions to the RV industry came in 1990 when Newmar offered the world's first motorhome power slide-out. Newmar would later receive a patent from the U.S. Patent Office for its flat floor power slide-out. Another industry contribution by Newmar was building its products on the independent front suspension or IFS chassis. This offered Newmar customers a smoother ride, better handling and maneuverability, an improved turning radius and a more car-like driving experience. At Newmar, we recognize that our greatest asset is our customers. So in 1985, the Country Club, Newmar's official owner's club, was formed. Today, the club is open to all Newmar RV owners and is a very important part of the company's vision. Members enjoy an active club events calendar as well as numerous benefits like club discounts at participating companies and dealers. Club members have also become a vital sounding board, contributing valuable information to enhance the company's offering of products and services. For example, in 2001, with input from a Newmar Country Club member, another Newmar industry first was created, the Power Porch. It allowed entry into the coach without having to reach up from the ground and climb the stairs as the door is open. Newmar fulfilled this request and in the process went further to create an actual porch platform you can stand on. Altogether, it took only 90 days to develop and patent the Power Porch. The 2007 model year was a monumental year in Newmar innovation. First, Newmar led the industry with the introduction of the all-star Class A toy hauler. A mid-engine diesel chassis allowed for a spacious, temperature-controlled garage in the rear of the coach. Now, RVers could take along their ATVs, motorcycles, and golf carts in the comfort and style that only Newmar provides. The industry's first intelligent steering system, Comfort Drive, was also introduced with the 2007 model year. This revolutionary steering system addressed one of the most significant issues in RVing, driver fatigue. With Comfort Drive, variable, programmable, speed-sensitive steering dramatically reduces the body stress and fatigue that normally comes from driving a motorhome. From six employees in 1968 to more than 1,000 today, Newmar has created a legacy of superior product and service quality by remaining faithful to our mission statement and guiding principles of honesty, courtesy, morality, fairness, reasonableness, reliability, integrity. These beliefs are reflected daily in the lives of our employees. Their continuing dedication in building a better RV has led to continual and sustained growth, numerous customer and dealer satisfaction awards, and the respect of our customers, dealers, partners, and the industry as a whole. From 1968 and the vision of two individuals driven to build a better RV right up to the present day, Newmar owes its success to their guiding principles, their employees, and the endearing loyalty of countless owners who accept nothing less than Newmar quality.